Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Joanne Powell Show. I am Joanne. We're coming to you from the World Center of Broadcast Media, WCOBM.com, Hollywood. And for those of you who are tuning in on from the Go Harrison Show, we'd like to welcome you as well. It has been deemed the worst mass shooting in American history. 14 people lost their lives. 22 were wounded. This month, we are remembering the victims of the San Bernardino mass shooting. This month, we've been, they've been doing various events and activities in honor of those who lost their lives and those who were wounded. Let's take a look and listen. December 2nd, 2016 is a day Michelle Soltis and so many others will never forget. All of a sudden, I hear a gunfire. I look behind me and I notice that the door had a crack, like it was propped open. And I just see a person standing there and I saw him lifting a rifle up and start spraying a room from right to left. I just got down on the floor real quick, tried to get out of the way and just lay there like as if I was dead already, like if he already shot me. I just remember the fire went on for, seemed like forever long to me. The next thing I know is the firing stopped. Michelle worked as an environmental health specialist at the Inland Regional Center in San Bernardino. When she first started working there, one of her trainers was a man named Saeed Farouk. He was the type of person that was more kept to himself. He didn't really get too involved with anybody. He just seemed distant. Saeed and his wife, armed with automatic weapons, shot and killed 14 people that day. Michelle was among the 22 wounded. One of them came by and they kicked me on my leg, my right leg. And then I just hear a boom, 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 boom. And I just knew, I was like, okay, I'm hit. I didn't know if I was gonna make it or not. I just laid there and I just, first thing I did is I turned to God. I start praying. I told him, I said, God, I'm ready. <laughs> I'm ready to go home with you. And, you know, I'm okay with that. I was like, but if it's not my time, I just ask that you protect me, that you shield me, that you keep me safe and keep everybody in here and that it's not their time, that keep them safe, protect them. A year later, the bell tolled 14 times for the 14 victims killed in our nation's worst mass shooting. We will never forget that day or the victims of this senseless act of violence. We strive to move forward and search for the good that is in us all. A community and a nation reflect and remember the victims. I have to say that it's a very emotional day for a lot of people, very emotional, and um, just try to remember. Hard for the families who are still dealing with it, healing, trying to heal. Law enforcement officials and cyclists took part in a 14-mile memorial ride, many riding in honor of Yvette Velasco, who was killed, her father, a retired CHP officer. Had done, uh, you know, 30 years on the highway patrol and was getting ready to, you know, to enjoy his retirement and his grandchildren. And, and this was his youngest daughter that had passed away. And so we all, um, we feel for Robert. First responders like San Bernardino Police Sergeant Emil Kokish participated in the ride. He helped a lot of victims that day. Well, I still think about it every day, talk about it every day. Uh, something that'll be with us for the rest of our lives. Like many of those who survived, Michelle continues to recover from her physical and mental wounds. Her faith in God gives her strength. 
I mean, he was by my side and I turned to him right away and I knew God was with me the whole time. His grace is why I'm still here. Well, besides the first responders, there were also a group of people who were there to help those who were in need. They were men and women of faith. Pastors from the throughout the area were called in to help the families. They are actually called to the waiting area where the families were waiting for word, the mm -hmm. holding area. Joining me now is Pastor Gerald Thompson. Mm -hmm. You are um, the pastor of the San Bernardino Community Seventh-day Adventist Church, also known as the City of Deliverance Church. Mm -hmm. You were actually one of those um, ministers who were there at the holding area. Let's take you back to that day and tell us a little bit about your experience. Yeah, Joan, I remember it like it was yesterday. Um, I was sitting in my office. At that time, I was still in Riverside mm -hmm. um, at another ministry, and they called me because I was, I'm very connected to San Bernardino. Mm -hmm. And so they called me to tell me what was going on. They said, Pastor Thompson, we need you right away. And so I left my office and I went down to San Bernardino where, in a certain area where they were housing some of the, um, the victims family or some of the workers family and some of the workers as well okay. and so when I got down there it was maybe a little bit after lunchtime maybe about two o'clock in the afternoon or so mm -hmm. got down there saw many of my colleagues and so forth in ministry and we just started praying and talking and then we uh, connected with the police officers as, uh, as well and they wanted us to you know go into a certain room to prepare water food and different things like that they were beginning to bus some of the employees from um, a church into that center that we were at, mm -hmm. the Hernandez Center to be exact. And from there, then the pastors would come in and speak to them, counsel with them, pray with them. What was very alarming though and very sad was that it came down um, late in the evening. This was maybe about eight, nine, around that time, maybe a little bit later, where there were only a few people left. Okay. And the question was okay why are they still here okay and the reason why they were still there because they were still waiting to find out about their loved one and long story short obviously those people that were there were individuals there where they lost their loved ones were part of that 14 okay. and so we had to really uh counsel them okay. and pray with them and it was one of the hardest things i've ever had to do um and so yeah but um it's a it's it was a sad sad day mm -hmm. In, in history. We are going to hear more about your story mm -hmm. and in just a moment we have run out of time. We've got to take a quick break but we will be right back. You're watching the Joanne Powell Show. Be sure to follow us on our Facebook page. If you are an adult that began college and has not finished your college degree, let me put it to you straight. If your lifestyle and your standard of living is not becoming to you, then you should be coming to us. Oakwood University Elite Program. We are the fast, flexible adult degree completion program for the busy adult, like you. Register today. Go to oakwoodleap.com or call 256-726-7098. It's time to leap. For years, people have trusted McKay's Family Mortuary. We're part of your community and we'll take care of the details. We offer a variety of memorial services, including sea scattering and cremation. According to the Federal Trade Commission, the average funeral cost is over $9,000. We have complete funeral chapel service starting at only $3,125, casket included. Direct cremation starting at only $9,95. Visit one of our five locations and meet our caring and diverse staff. McKay Family Mortuary. Let us be the shoulder to lean on. Thanks to Oakwood University and the LEAP program, I have now a college degree. So to the Spanish-speaking members of this community who feel that the LEAP program is something you should consider, I would say, ánimo a la universidad. Considere el programa LEAP de Oakwood University. Go to oakwoodleap.com or call 256-726-7098. Seize the day scuba for your best scuba experience above and below the sea. You'll find friendly staff, experienced PADI certified instructors, and state-of-the-art scuba equipment and gear. Join our dive club and we'll help you plan memorable scuba excursions. Immerse yourself. Seize the day scuba, serving Southern California. Call 949-220-0500 to create your scuba experience. When I first started into the program, yes, I had doubts. 
I just, uh, I was really impressed with Oakwood University, with the faculty and the staff and the student body. It was, uh, it was a really good experience and I would, uh, I would definitely recommend it to anyone who was thinking about going back and, and finishing their degree. Register today. Go to oakwoodleap.com or call 256-726-7098.